This is Coyote News. Veterans Day was celebrated at USD with a special ceremony. Patriots Plaza was dedicated this afternoon in a Veterans Day ceremony. In addition to local veterans, the commemoration was attended by USD Rep U.S. Representative Dusty Johnson, Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Sunberg, and USD President Sheila Gestring. Inspired by student veterans, Patriots Plaza features a display of American South Dakota POW and USD flags honoring three alumni Congressional Medal of Honor re recipients. Patriots Plaza was financed by private gifts and fund matching from the university. Congressman Johnson saw symbolism not only in the plaza, but in the words used to describe those who it remembers. There are many reasons for us to celebrate and honor Veterans Day, but for me, one of the most important is that it gives us an opportunity to acknowledge those incredible characteristics. It reminds us that we have an opportunity to do better, to embody the selflessness, the dedication, the patriotism, the honor of those who have served. Are encouraged to attend the Veterans Day banquet from 6 to 8 this evening at the Eagles Club downtown. We'll go back to the muck where Delaney Nillis is live with USD Art Department students. The students created plaques for the memorial bearing the portraits and achievements of the Medal of Honor recipients. Delaney? Thanks, Aaliyah. I'm here with Natalie Haggison and Levi Sternberg, creators of the bronze plaques on the Patriarchs Plaza. How does it feel to have had the opportunity to make your mark on USD's campus by creating the bronze plaques for the Patriarchs Plaza? Um, it's a blessing, really. Um, it's really nice to be recognized for like the things that we do in class and that we're going to school for. And to be able to make something that's like a permanent memorial on campus is, mm -hmm. is like definitely not something a lot of students get to get the opportunity to do. So we're very grateful for that. And how long did the bronze plaques take to complete? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see, we started them this summer and through, you know, just the regular hiccups of, of casting things, uh, we finished um, a couple weeks ago, so yeah, yeah. it kind of came down to the wire. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the significance of burning the plaques? Of burning the plaques? Lighting them on fire in the pictures? Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, so, are you talking about the mold process? I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, so that's a wash we put on the inside of them. We also, or maybe patina, maybe. I the think patina. these are the pictures. I, I think I know the pictures you're the talking patina. about. Uh, in the sand molds, we make we make make a pattern. We make a mold of that with sand, bonded mm -hmm. sand, um, and then in order for that sand not to stick to the metal, we have to dissolve graphite in uh, alcohol and then brush that on and then let it on fire to burn the alcohol off so it's just a dusting of, of graphite left on there. So we get a clean cast. And in the burning of the plaques, the flame that we were brushing on the plaques uh, is just heating up that patina to draw moisture out of the metal. It makes for really great pictures. But yeah. <laughs> pictures it's one of many beautiful. Yeah. One of many important steps. And do you anticipate on coming back to USD decades from now to see the impact of your work? Almost definitely, I do. Yeah. Yes. You know, maybe one day my kids are going to go to school here yeah. or something and they'll be around. But yes. um, I have lots of friends in this community, so I'm, I'm sure I'll be back here. I'm not, not one of those students who's going to leave this town in the rear view after yeah. I graduate. Yeah, same with me. So thank you both for coming thank today. Thank you. Live in the muck with Coyote News, I'm Delaney Nellis.